Nanny has got to be one of the most exciting North American talents that we have seen in the LCS in many years. Pero no solo eso, no solo se ganó su paso a la LCS, sino que también ahora es reconocido como uno de los mejores acarreadores de su región. En 2021 When you can perform from day one at the highest levels, his future is incredibly, incredibly bright. Danny, it's time to claim your era. So you got quite a lot of praise and recognition for your performance kind of out of the gate. How are you taking all that in, into 2022? I definitely got a lot of fans from my Tristana play. Definitely a very memorable play. Probably one of the best plays ever, certainly in domestic, like North American League, yeah. maybe globally. It's very impressive. <laughs> what was that moment like for you? Do you know that you can take the risk and it will pay off, or are you just completely flow state, just playing the game? At the time, I think it was a very high stress moment. We were in a best of five down in one game, and then that was like the final moment, and I had to make a decision. So it was either play safe and lose, or at least try to do this, and hopefully we get something out of it. Damn, Danny, he does it again! 六岁的时候，在哥哥的介绍下接触了英雄联盟，凭借超强的天赋，年仅十四岁就打上了美服的最强王者段位。What was it like, kind of going from middle school kid playing the game to hey, like this pro team wants to sign you? Yeah, I think that、uh, transition was definitely very. Unknown to me, I felt like I was really confused on what I was wanting to do at the end of my high school career. What about your family, your parents? What are they like? They're like so invested in league. Actually,、yeah. I had to explain a lot of things to them because they didn't really know much about league. Now they do. They're like so invested. They watch all of my games. They watch Team Liquid. They watch Hundred Thieves. They watch. LCS, they watch Academy, they watch everything you could possibly imagine. So I think it's really cool that they're so involved. Bow to the new king of the LCS. It is Danny leading the charge. チームメイトとなるベテランたちの中で唯一のルーキーとなったダニーがどうなるのかは注目の的でした。そしてその不安はすぐに一掃され、期待の眼差しへと変わることになりました。What was it like being such a new young player, or surrounded by like a lot of veterans actually on that first CG squad? It felt really scary. I feel like that's always the consensus when you're a brand new rookie player playing on a team full of veterans. Obviously, you're, you're new to the scene, but you did very well, and I think EG made a run that very nearly could have gone to Worlds.、Mm -hmm. With Worlds being in North America this year for 2022, what does that mean, especially as a newer player, to you know be able to represent? In kind of your hometown, and and of course play in the biggest tournament the game has to offer.、Mm -hmm. It would be like my dream to go to Worlds, and the fact that it's in North America, like it, I think it means a lot to me. Just representing your own country could be like such a dream for someone, and I really want to experience that. Do you have any messages for your competitors heading into the 2022 season?、Uh, yeah, I do. Go have fun. They're gonna need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The rookie of the year puts his team on his back. Danny is your new god. Danny is the best rookie we've ever had in the history of the LCS. <laughs>